Nintendo woke up about two weeks ago and decided that they were just going to become another super villain gaming company like EA or Activision, except for EA and Activision have absolutely nothing on Nintendo anymore. EA might sell the shit out of loot boxes to you, but at least you get some gambling serotonin out of that. Nintendo doesn't even give that. They just take money away from charity at this point. They literally don't care. This all started off with Nintendo taking down a uh, Smash Brothers Melee competition because it was using an online uh, server, essentially, to run the game. Now, they claimed this was because people are using ROMs and blah blah blah, whatever. However, ROMs are not illegal if you're using a purchased copy of the game. So if you slot the disc into a computer and download a ROM, you own the game, you've bought that disc, you have complete legal permission to use that. All that the service called Slippy was doing was essentially giving you a server to play on, which is not at all illegal. It's just like a small mod if you could even consider it that. But of course, Nintendo, in the consistent pursuit of fucking up everything, has decided that that wasn't okay. They weren't going to stand by that. So they told them to shut it all down. It was one of the biggest Smash Melee tournaments of the uh, year. People were looking forward to it. Obviously, there aren't a whole lot of tournaments right now uh, due to global events, we'll call it. And uh, N Nintendo's not about that. They fucking hate people. They love the coronavirus. I've heard Doug Bowser's a big fan. Uh, and so they, they shut it down. Now, this doesn't come as much of a surprise, to be honest, uh, for Nintendo. They always love to shut down anything esports related if they can. They get in there like the fucking SWAT team to take it down if it is their game and people are playing it and enjoying it. They hate that shit. This started the hashtag free melee on Twitter which got pretty popular, it was trending for a while, um, and people were hoping Nintendo would listen. Obviously, Nintendo is run by soulless corporate robots, so they didn't listen, they didn't even see that shit. The person who runs the Nintendo of America account is like a 50-year-old man who doesn't even look at Twitter, he just posts things like Hyrule Warriors out now. Not that anybody gives a shit about that game. Nintendo made another big move about two weeks later, eh, about two days ago now, where they decided to cancel a Splatoon 2 tournament uh, because some of the teams had renamed themselves to be uh, in correlation with uh, Smash Melee and show support for that community. Uh, rather than just allowing that to happen, they weren't actually cheating, this was one of Nintendo's own tournaments, rather than allowing the teams to name themselves whatever the fuck they want, or just kicking out the offending teams, Nintendo canceled the whole fucking tournament while it was going on. The live stream had to suddenly stop due to unexpected errors. We can only assume what that was. They've also been completely silent on it. Uh, and they're just handling it shittily again. No surprises here. I'm surprised they even have a Twitch or anything to live stream these tournaments from. And they're not just trying to send them over local radio waves in Japan. These are just some more cases of Nintendo being Nintendo, uh, maybe a little bit more aggressive than they have been in the past, but it's nothing surprising. However, what I'm about to talk about is honestly a little bit surprising, even for somebody of their status. Uh, they decided they had to go out of their way to cease and desist somebody who was selling Joy-Con shells or repainted Joy-Cons of some sort, um, which were Etika-themed uh, in support of mental health charities. Obviously, he uh, tragically took his own life um, about a year ago now, over a year ago now, um, and they were to support, obviously, mental health charities. All of the proceeds were going to mental health charities. This person wasn't making any money off of it. Nintendo sure as hell wasn't making money, like, or wasn't losing money off of this, I should say. Uh, but Nintendo decided, of course, that's not good, called in the drone strike, got that shit shut down immediately. Uh, they hate mental health charities. They hate mental health in general. Nintendo essentially needs to do a complete rehiring at this point, or at least start, you know, putting people into the company that are under the age of 60 uh, to help them understand what the hell they need to do to run their business, especially their video game business. I swear to God, you could replace Nintendo with the P like PR team from Bed Bath & Beyond and they do a better job, and they don't have to worry about fans in the slightest. Nobody's a fan of Bed Bath & Beyond, but I swear to God, you could put me in charge. I would do a better job. I, 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 and I'm open, Nintendo. If you want to offer, you know, kick those guys out, I'll, I'll take over. I'm just saying. I'll do a better job, I swear to God. A and, and, we'll remain more profitable. Uh, that's my promise. My PKS HBS guarantee, if you will. 
moral of the story is Nintendo sucks. They've always sucked. And until they can find real people, to, they can bring them in off the street for all I care to run some of their company, especially their PR department and their legal team, uh, they're, they're not going to become a better company all of a sudden. They really are, and I can say this definitively, the worst company in gaming over EA and Activision by so far. As I said at the start, EA and Activision li don't literally steal money from charities. Anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.